Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm Ron Nicoletti. It is Saturday. We have 11 races on tap this afternoon in our 10th and feature race, the game phase. So let's get right to those track and weather conditions. We start the afternoon with the fast main track and a firm turf course. Temperatures in the low 80s here today, partly cloudy skies. First race of the afternoon over the turf at five furlongs. Starter allowance optional claiming fillies and mares. Scratch the one fancy Madeline, a field of nine. First race favorite, number two, Scuba Sue. All in line. Racing at Gulfstream. Sweet Butterfly missed the start, three lengths. From the outside, I will be free, gets the first call. Goodbye, Sorrel has speed. The favorite, Scuba Sue, now rushing throughout the rail. And Scuba Sue to take the lead in the run to the half mile pole. I will be free in Miss World Venezuela, second and third from Goodbye, Sorrel, and Fulfilled Fantasy. Then it's Storm and Charlotte. Tapping on the brakes while down inside was Love Flute. Didn't get through to the outside in Forest Funds. And Sweet Butterfly tries to tack on as they round the far turn. It's the favorite, Scuba Sue, who leads through a drilled opening quarter of 20 and four. Miss World Venezuela's on the chase, second, three wide. I will be free as third. Goodbye, Sorrow is racing from fourth and has horse, it appears. Two back to the outside and Forest Funds who finds her best ride as they swing in. Scuba Sue has the lead. She's been hard pressed, but she still maintains control. I will be free and goodbye, Sorrow chase. Here's I will be free at Scuba Sue. Goodbye, Sorrow is third. Scuba Sue, I will be free. Goodbye, Sorrow is third. This is gonna be close. Here's the wire photo finish. Heads up and down, it was Scuba Sue inside. I will be free on the outside in 55 flat. Very tight finish in today's first race. In the end, the favorite did hold on. Number two, Scuba Sue gets the money under Edgar Zayas for trainer Rashawn Creaky and owner's Amity Racing Stable. Second eight, I will be free, who just missed, ahead of nine, goodbye Soro, who ran third. To the second race we go, start of the 50 cent early pick four, allowance optional claiming horses at six furlongs. We had two late scratches at the gate. Scratch the two Mystical Miles and the three Donegal Hall. All super high five wagers were refunded. Favorites were four, JB Quick, and six, Express Jet. And they're off. From the inside, that Social Royal gets the first call. JB Quick is quickly up to challenge, and these two hook up and work two lengths better than Express Jet and McFly, and the trailer is the stretch runner, Bulldozer. Separated by four and a half in the run to the half mile pole, and Social Roy has beat JB Quick to the punch, and he leads it now by a head. Bulldozer's a joint third alongside McFly, who's in between horses, and Express Jet is right with them as they swing to the turn. Opening quarter, solid 22 and one. Around the far turn they go, and up front now, JB Quick Quick puts a head in front. From the inside, Social Roy tries to hang with him second and third, and in striking position is McFly. McFly is only two behind, followed by Express Jet, and Bulldozer will have to stoke the fire from last of all as they go past the quarter mile pole. JB Quick has survived every step. He has the lead. McFly set to attack second. Express Jet's on the far outside. Back fourth is Social Roy. Back fifth is Bulldozer. Three sixteenths to go. JB Quick has one to fight off. It's Express Jet who's up into second, but JB Quick has some in the tank. In fact, he's opening up again. JB Quick will be sharp in victory. He'll kick off the early pick four with a five or six length win. Express Jet second, third, McFly, fourth, Bulldozer, then Social Roy at 109. And one. Number four, JB Quick takes a licking and keeps on ticking in today's second race, pulling clear easily in the end, giving Edgar Zayas a sweep of the early daily double. This one for acclaimed racing stable and trainer Ralph Zadie. Six, Express Jet did get second ahead of seven, McFly, who ran third. We'll take a brief time out. Lots of great racing action left. Don't go away. We have to take care of these horses that, you know, give us so much joy. Being accredited by the TAA gives us instant credibility. People trust us even more than they have before because they know that the TAA has been to all of our location and that our horses are well cared for. I mean, this farm wouldn't look the way it is. These horses wouldn't look the way they are if it wasn't for the generosity and the hard work of the Thurbed Aftercare Alliance. They've united our whole industry in terms of the aftercare movement. We're all working together for the same purpose. Back for the third race at six furlongs. Claimers in for a price tag of $6,250. In a field of seven, this was a wide open betting race. Numbers two, five, six, and seven all took a large amount of play. And they're off. 
Bobby's lucky seven and Cyber Josh away well, but from the inside, here's Gone Deep throttling open to take the lead. It's Gone Deep and Chris McIntosh a length and a half in front. Driving up quickly up the inside, here's Private Journal. Victor Severino sends him through up the inside to take the lead and the run to the half mile pole. Gone Deep is second. Indiana Cowboy a joint third alongside Flash uh, from the outside and Cyber Josh. Two and a half lengths back inside to mass approval, then Bobby's lucky seven and at the back, the trailer remarkable tail. They round the far turn through an opening quarter in 22 and four and up front gone deep leads narrowly back to second is private journal but he's still right there indiana cowboy tries to latch on to the top flight and up on the outside is cyber josh from the back remarkable tail begins to hit his best ride and here's the stretch runner remarkable tail within four and a half of the top with less than a quarter of a mile to go 46 seconds for the opening half mile remarkable tail got bounced around as he was making that move and indiana cowboy puts ahead in front gone deep is second cyber josh is third then remarkable tail fourth final furlong indiana cowboy driving to a short lead gone deep is still there second late run from remarkable tail indiana cowboy has won it under jockey nikki figueroa by a half a length of a remarkable tail in 111 and four number four indiana cowboy prevails in today's third race he was bet down from a 15 to one morning line to five to one and he gets the money under Nikki Figueroa for trainer Larry Pilati and Monarch Stables. Six, Remarkable Tail put in a wide and hopeful run to get second, ahead of two gone deep, who is battling gamely while third. To the fourth race, we go on turf at one mile, presented by Hardacre Farm. Scratch number four, Fantastic Kitten, a field of seven, all the money for one, Happy Wanderer, and five, Dr. Corday. And they're off. Completely blowing the start was without remorse about five lengths last, and it was also a bit of a slow getaway for Jacob of Tarville. From the rail, Happy Wanderer blasts out to take the lead and leads it by a length and a half in the early stages. Up on the outside, Southern Sea is now second. A joint third is Dr. Corday. Moving out the inside is Dopo Lavoro. Out a bit wide, but now dropping over Shiny Copper Penny. It's a stretch of three and a half to a recovering without remorse. And trailing the field is Jacob of Tarville. They make their way into the backstretch through the opening quarter in 23 and 1. And a bit keen up top, Happy Wanderer at even money, closed as the favorite and leads it by two. Southern Sea second, Dopo Lavoro third. Dr. Cordea is fourth, about three and a half lengths off the leader. Two more to Shiny Copper Penny, then it's without remorse, and still nothing from Jacob of Tarville. Strung out over a lot of ground with less than half a mile to negotiate. They want the opening half mile in 46 and four. Into the far turn they go. Happy Wanderer by a length and a half. Dr. Corday moving sharply on the outside into a joint second. Dopo Lavoro tries to stay with him. Back to fourth is Southern Sea. Then shiny Copper Penny and without remorse, Jacob of Tarville is tailed off as they run to the top of the stretch. There's now less than a quarter of a mile to go. And up front, the two favorites set for a stretch confrontation. After three quarters and one ten and two, Here's Dr. Corday let loose on the outside to take the lead. Dr. Corday now puts away Happy Wanderer. In between horses, Dopo Lavoro, Shiny Copper Penny trying to get a slice on the outside. Dr. Corday close to home with the lead. Dopo Lavoro game gaining ground, but time ticking away. Dr. Corday holds on. Second, Dopo Lavoro, third, Shiny Copper Penny, then Happy Wanderer. And after that was without remorse in 134 and 4. Jockey Edgar Zayas gets his third winner of the afternoon from just the first four races. On board number five, Dr. Corday here in race four for trainer Kieran McLaughlin and owner Ranlow Investments. Five, Dopo Lavoro sitting on a win. He's fired both of his last two races huge. He ended up second ahead of number eight, Shiny Copper Penny. He puts in a big run for him and ended up third. To the fifth race now, seven furlongs over the main track. Claimers in for a $6,250 price tag. A field of eight went postward. Better struggled with this one. It was a wide open betting race. And they're off. From the outside, Capital City begins nicely. Starship Apache is showing speed. Here's Starship Apollo and moving out the rail, moving to challenge as Chief Envoy. So they run out of the chute, five horses across the track as Crazy Frank C also away in the top flight. Boyfriend's back is sixth, but only two and a half lengths off the lead. And it's four to the two at the back. They are seven of Jack and right squall. Down the back stretch they go. And up the inside rail, it's Chief Envoy to lead at three parts of a length. Starship Apollo races from second. Capital City is third. Boy Friends back improves a spot with Starship Apache. Then back to Crazy Frank C and the two at the back, seven of Jack and Right Squall. 
They move to the three furlong point and Starship Apollo goes on the offensive and puts ahead in front. Right back at him is Chief Envoy second. Off the flank of the leaders is Capital City third. Starship Apache is fourth. Back fifth, Crazy Frank C. Seven of Jack is tacking on. Right squalls out of last and now the trailer is Boyfriend's back with a quarter of a mile left to go. Up front, the leader Miguel Vasquez and Starship Apollo for the opening half mile and 45 and two, but Capital City is on the attack and now Capital City takes the lead. Here's Starship Apache running on again with an eighth of a mile to go. Starship Apache at Capital City who has the lead. It's Capital City in front. Starship Apollo, Starship Apache, then seven of Jack. They're coming to the wire. Capital City digging in and hanging on. Starship Apache was second. Starship Apollo was third. Fourth was seven of Jack ahead of Crazy Frank C, then right Squall in 123 and two. Number eight, Capital City, collars the leader inside the final three furlongs and prevails gamely for the victory under jockey Nick Juarez for trainer Joe Katniss the third and Big Bang Racing. Six, Starship Apache second ahead of two, Starship Apollo, who battled on gamely to get third. Early pick four, $395.40. The early pick five, $858.55. We'll take a brief time out. When we come back, we'll bring you the Rainbow Six sequence. Don't go away. A passion for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm, from the breeding shed to the racetrack, in pursuit of producing the best. Back now for race number six on the card. It was the start of the Saturday Rainbow Six. Pool closed at over $100,000. This race on turf made in claimers in for a price tag of $35,000. A field of 10. Favorite was the two, more Alex. And they're off. From the center, so long, Chuck begins the best, and he'll try to establish the lead from False Accusation, who comes away in the top flight. Up on the outside, here's Reno Jack from the top shelf, and he's moving closer. Reno Jack up to attack so long, Chuck, in the run to the first turn. That's good news for False Accusation, who's now racing in a chilly spot, third behind the speed. Following him outside is Unbroken Chain with Knockout Ranger down toward the rail. Simpatico is three wide, then it's lunch break. More Alex is on his outside. Second last is House Account, and Second Street will have have to pass them all. He's about nine lengths behind as they run into the backstretch. The opening quarter was 23 and one. And up front, the leader, so long, Chuck, by a length. The long shot, Reno Jack keeps him honest while well, second, four back to false accusation, third. Up on his outside is Unbroken Chain, who travels along fourth, about six lengths off the lead. He's two lengths better than an improving more Alex. He's at the inside of Simpatico, who's three wide in front of Knockout Ranger, who's already being asked to run. From the back in second street, trying to get into involved here, so is Lunch Break, and so is House Account as they round the far turn. So long, Chuck. Chuck puts away the long shot, Reno Jack, but now we'll have to deal with false accusation, and they'll both have to deal with more Alex, who continues to charge hard. Unbroken Chain is in with an upset possibility. Then it's Simpatico as they turn in. So long, Chuck, off the turn with a two and a half length lead. From the far outside, more Alex begins to motor in between horses, Unbroken Chain with false accusation. Final furlong, Unbroken Chain drifting way out to the center. More Alex is trying to get past him. More Alex and Unbroken Chain. More Alex, Unbroken Chain, Unbroken and chain more Alex very very close too close to call between unbroken chain and more Alex than false accusation and so long Chuck in 134 and two super close finish in today's sixth race but in the end number two more Alex got the momentum right when he needed it and puts his nose down for the score under CJ McMahon for trainer Elizabeth Dobles and imaginary stables Number eight, Unbroken Chain, a bit erratic off the corner, but he battled on Gamely to get second, ahead of the nine, False Accusation, who had a great trip, just had to settle for third. To the seventh race we go on turf at one mile, claimers in for a $30,000 price tag, with a field of nine signed on. Favorite was number three, Mr. Pinocchio. And they're off. Level beginning. 
Lining up for the early lead from the far outside, Mongol G is having to use his, some of his speed to try to cross over. Racing between horses is Exclusive Lake with Love Conquers down toward the inside. These three across the course as they run into the first turn. Pasta Giovanni is off the fields of the leaders while racing in fourth, and he's put into the three path. Out wide on the course is Little Sky, followed by Mr. Pinocchio. Then down at the rail races Aquatine, ahead of Leopard Cat, and Salt Mine is the trailer as they run around the first turn. Mongol G and Carlos Montalvo throttle open. They've been hard used, but they secure the lead by a length now. Up on the outside and racing into second is Exclusive Lake. Love Conquers backs off third from fourth and moving up a bit is Pasta Giovanni. Mr. Pinocchio, the favorite, is sandwiched between horses fifth, but only two lengths off the lead through a 23-second opening quarter. Very wide on the course is Little Sky, ahead of Aquatine, who's down toward the rail. Leopard Cat and Salt Mine continue at the back of the field through a 47 and one opening half mile. They Swing into the far turn, Mongol G has the lead. Three parts of a length exclusive. Lake is a bit closer second. Up on the outside, it's Pasta Giovanni. Love Conquers is next. Shuffling back a bit is Mr. Pinocchio. He'll now switch four wide for a stretch bid. Salt Mine will be sent five wide. At the rail, Aquatina will look for a way through. From the back in Leopard Cat, then Little Sky as they race for home. Three quarters, one, ten, and four. Mongol G still has the lead. On the outside in Pasta Giovanni, Love Conquers is at the inside. Salt Mine is on the grandstand side with Aquatine. Final furlong Montalvo pulling out all the stops with Mongol G and he still has the lead. On the outside and Pasta Giovanni with a late push. Mongol G springs the upset. Pasta Giovanni second, Love Conquers third. Close after that, 134 and four. Big prices all the way through the trifecta in race number nine with over 20 to one proposition. Mongol G forgetting to stop, carried to the wire by Carlos Montalvo in the final 16th of a mile from Mongolian Stable and Enabish Gamba. Two, Pasta Giovanni had every opportunity to get by, but he was just outrun late while second ahead of four love conquerors who certainly fired to complete a nice try. To the eighth race now, maidens of the state bred variety in at a six furlong trip for a $36,000 purse. We had a field of nine that went postward. A lukewarm choice was on the outside, number nine, Fort Liberty. And they're off. From the outside, Fort Liberty gets the first call. Moving between horses, here's Florida Cotton up to take the lead. Down at the inside, races Wildcat Saint to be second. Out of their third is switched. From the far outside, Fort Liberty. Then in between horses, Equity. Bolara's up the inside. Then it's for the Gipper. Length and a half and climbing while second last is toward to Nickel. Rupp is the trailer with half a mile to go. Florida Cotton leads to the far turn by a length. Fort Liberty is three wide. Equity's in the two path. These three, a length better than for the Gipper who tacks on fourth. Wildcat Saint has lost a bit of ground fifth. Trying to get underway from the back. Bolara in between horses. That's switched and out wide on the course. Trying to improve his Rupp at the back toward to Nickel as they run to the top of the stretch. Equity sitting very chilly is Nick Juarez and Equity has the lead. Fort Liberty has covered ground but is right with the leader. Second off cover for the Gipper is third. Swinging wide but in full gear is Rupp. They straighten away for the drive. Still many chances. Equity has the lead. Fort Liberty to the attack. Over the top and for the Gipper. Trying to slip Slip through inside is Florida Cotton still right there. They come inside the final furlong. Equity the leader. Florida Cotton digs back in. Fort Liberty on the outside. Three chances. Equity. Equity beats Fort Liberty with four, four, uh, Florida Cotton third. Then it was for the Gipper and Rupp in 111 and three. Game performance today from the son of High Cotton, number seven, Equity, prevails while stepping up in class under jockey Nick Juarez, who gets another riding victory today. This one for Jose Pynchon and owners Jose Pynchon and Christian Manga. Nine, Fort Liberty was second ahead of the three, Florida Cotton. He fires big off the layoff, battles on Gamely to complete the try. To the ninth race now on turf at seven and a half furlongs. Claimers in for a $16,000 price tag. Scratch the 13, El Ciclone. A field of 12 and what was a wide open betting race. And they're up. That was a level beginning. From the center, Big City Heart and Island Therapy, the first two to begin. Up on their outside, here's Bermuda Triangle keyed up, and Bermuda Triangle is marching forward with Big City Heart in the run to the first turn. Island Therapy is now racing in third with Color Me Pegasus working into the two-path from fourth. Three wide and fifth is Whites of Their Eyes, two and a half lengths clear of Parmel Landing. Velvet Colors is next and about six and a half lengths off the pace setter, followed by Top of the Page and Leverkusen. Tiger Paw three wide around that first turn run, racing second last, 
Beast on the inside is Zen's Lad. And the early trailer here, the trailer is Velvet Colors. Down the back stretch they go. They went 23 and 1 for the opening quarter speed. And up front, the leader, Bermuda Triangle at Eduardo Nunez. They lead it now by a length and a quarter. On the outside in Big City Heart from second. Down inside, Island Therapy is racing into third. Up on the far outside in Whites of Their Eyes is now fourth. From fifth, that's Color Me Pegasus trying to improve. Then down inside goes Parmel Landing. It's a stretch of two to Leverkusen. Outside and Tiger Paw rallying on the inside is Zen's Lad as they run around the far turn. Big City Hard and Jorge Ruiz back for more to take the lead. Island Therapy appears to be the danger. Juarez getting him into the race without being asked to run through a 47 and one half mile. Into the stretch, here comes Island Therapy. Let loose to take the lead. Big City Hard is alongside second. Whites of their eyes in Parmel Landing. From the back and Tiger Paw with top of the page coming on. And now down inside, here's Parmel Landing. Parmel Landing gets up to it. Second Island Therapy, Zen's Lad might have got third and 128 and two. Nice trip today from jockey Jose Garcia aboard number seven, Parmel Landing, who rallies inside and gets up for the victory for trainer Joe Orsino and owners Joe Orsino and Mel Paco. Second four, Island Therapy, were just outkicked in the late stages ahead of the three, Zen's Land, who came from far back to get third. We'll take a brief time out when we come back. The Saturday feature and the late daily double right after this. Crossing the finish line for the last time can mean an uncertain future for many horses. Recognizing the need for a dignified retirement, the racing industry has made racehorse aftercare a top priority. In partnership with Gulfstream Park and the Florida Horsemen's Association, Florida Track provides retraining and adoption services for retired racehorses. Thanks to their efforts, the end of a racing career can signal the beginning of a new career. In show jumping, trail riding, police work, even therapy for children and veterans. However, good intentions do not come without cost. As a nonprofit organization, Florida Track relies on tax-deductible donations and volunteers to help pay for feed, training, housing, and veterinary care. To find out how you can help, contact Florida Track today. Your support will go a long way towards a new beginning. Back now for race number 10. It was the Saturday feature race, the Game Face Overnight Stakes at seven furlongs for $75,000. A field of eight went postward. The favorite was the five by Miss Tappet off an impressive maiden score. Racing in the Game Face Stakes. Queen Roller missed the start completely. She's four lengths last. From the inside, Jacob's Rocket Girl bounces away well, and she'll take charge early on from Rachette, who comes away racing in second. Credit Alert is third, a length and a half in front of Actress, who's now fourth. My Miss Tappet is down at her inside. After Rail Races, three illusions, two back to Brahms Cat, and after blowing the start, the trailer is Queen Roller. Down the back stretch they go. Edgar Zayas trying to harness the speed of Jacob's Rocket Girl. She leads through an opening quarter in 22 and four. Eduardo Nunez and Rachette in the two path second. Actress tacking on nicely. She's third, only a length and a half off the leader. Following her is My Miss Tappet, so the favorites are third and fourth and both on the attack. Racing into fifth now is three illusions ahead of Brahms Cat. And at the back, the trailer is Queen Roller as they run around the far turn. That's all for Jacob's rocket girl, Rachette, comes away with the lead, immediately tackled by the two headliners. My Miss Tappet and Actress are both on the attack. Four back to three illusions, then Brahms Cat and Queen Roller as they turn for home in the game phase. Three horses across the track from between them. Actress has a narrow lead. My Miss Tappet way out in the center of the course with momentum and Rachette is boxing on Gamely third, eighth of a mile to go. My Miss Tappet slowly edging away from actress who's game, but only second best. My Miss Tappet and Jaramillo to win it by almost two in the end. Actress second, Rachette third, then Brahms Cat and Queen Roller in 122 and four. Number five, My Miss Tappet takes her game to a new level here this afternoon, taking some kickback and rallying from off the pace under jockey Amisael Jaramillo from Mathis Stable and trainer Todd Pletcher. 
Number eight, Actor, certainly fired, but was second best ahead of the six, Rachette, who also ran a big one. She was a clear third. To the 11th and final race now on the turf at seven and a half furlongs, made in claimers, in for a $12,500 price tag. Scratch number three, Mike's Muscle Man, and scratch the alternates, 13, 14, and 15. It was an 11-horse field in the Saturday finale, and it was a wide-open betting race. And they're up. From between horses, Tide of the Desert gets the first call. Cold as Ice is showing speed. Twist Cat Candy comes away on the top flight. And Successor of Fate is marching between horses. He's trying to garner some early position and the run of the first turn. Tide of the Desert has the lead now by two and a half. Up on the outside, Twist Cat Candy is second down inside. That's Successor of Fate third. It's a length and a half to Disco Man in fourth, followed by the gray Cold as Ice in fifth. In between horses and racing from six, that's just like a rock. Out wide on the course is Bold Star. In between that pair is Milo Diamond. Then it's a half a length back to Mason Song, who's four wide down the backstretch run, working two and a half clear of home power, and El Globo was last. The opening quarter, 24 seconds flat, down the backstretch they go. Up front, Tide of the Desert has a two-length lead. Twist Cat Candy is second, Disco Man is third, Successor of Fate is fourth. Cold as Ice is now racing from fifth, Mason Song is sixth. Racing from seventh, that's Bold Star with Just Like a Rock and Milo Diamond. Four to the trailers, El Globo, and at the back of the pack, Home Power. They run around the far turn, less than a quarter of a mile to go. Up front, the leader still Tide of the Desert, confidently handled here by Nick Juarez, off the turn trying to spring the upset to the attack twist cat candy is second cold as ice rallies up the inside with mason song then disco man eighth of a mile left the leader is still tied of the desert here's mason song charging hard late mason song has a shot chamafi and mason song at the leader tide of the desert mason song mason song nails tide of the desert to win it from cold as ice then twist cat candy in 129 and three Number 10, Mason Song drops off the long layoff and was ready to go as he closes ground up the inside to get the victory in narrow fashion under Jilver Chamafi for trainer Steve Dwoskin and owners Wayne Lobdell and Steve Dwoskin. Five, Tide of the Desert took him a long way and a big run for second, ahead of two, Cold as Ice, who ran third. Eight, Twist Cat Candy completes the Super. Late pick five, worth $18,934.80. Rainbow Six, we did have two winning wagers. Combination good for $16,064.32. Triggers a Sunday carryover of $77,661. And seven cents. And that wraps up the Saturday card. We're back at it again on Sunday. We got 10 races. Should be a lot of fun. Good night and good luck. Hit the hay. I've been working all day, hit the hay, what do you say, hit the hay, hit the hay, well I'm tired, let me tell you Jack, I'm so tired.